This is Duke University. We know a fair number of genes that when uh, disrupted in humans can result in disorders like microcephaly in which brain size is reduced or diseases like autism uh, spectrum disorder. So my lab is interested in understanding how the brain develops from just a few cells in the embryo all the way to a complex, highly structured brain. We really need to understand what are the factors, what are the key factors, what are the key processes that go into building our brain. And in doing so, we can gain uh, really important insights into diseases for which we have no cure currently. The tissues that form our central nervous system, such as brain, spinal cord, and the eye, are uh, some of the most difficult tissues to regenerate. They are easier to regenerate during youth, but much harder to regenerate in the adult. And what are the differences between a young brain and an old brain are also very interesting to us. So we've been able to discover new genes that are critical for brain development. Using um, our understanding of brain development, we can uh, potentially uncover uh, therapies that might be used for treating Zika virus or, or other types of environmental uh, perturbations of brain development. So many blinding diseases uh, are caused by the degeneration of a very specific type of neuron that is located in the retina called the retinal ganglion cells or RGCs. These RGCs basically linked uh, the eye to the brain via the optic nerve. So when the retinal ganglion cells are diseased, the optic nerve is degenerating and the brain is not able to receive any visual information from the eye. So therefore it is obviously very important to find new strategies uh, to protect these RGCs from neurodegenerative stress, but also um, promote their regeneration. One aspect that I'm very excited about is uh, gene therapy that could be a way to treat conditions that are, for example, in the eye. So if we could uh, restore some of the functions of different kinds of cells in the retina, then we could prevent the retina from degenerating, neurons from dying, thus help uh, people sustain their vision into later ages. One of the strategies that we are developing in the lab uh, aim at targeting uh, an intracellular organelle uh, called the mitochondria. Uh, these mitochondria are extremely important for cellular physiology. And what we discovered uh, recently is that if you increase the transport of these organelles, you can promote retinal ganglion cells uh, survival and regeneration uh, after an injury. So I think eye disease is probably one of the diseases that we can see really great improvement within the next five to 10 years. So the Regeneration Next initiative is a way of bringing together scientists all across Duke. Duke is a highly collaborative university, and I think bringing this community get together, we have the potential to learn from each other to really exponentially develop therapies for disease. But really, more investment is needed. We have a lot of, of really critical questions that we need to understand, and uh, the more resources we can have, the faster we can get to cures. Produced by Duke University.